Greetings to all members of the Cardigan family. Dave and Steph McCusker here uh, talking to you on a glorious uh, day here on The Point. We want to provide an update on how things are going at Cardigan, and uh, there's a lot to report. In fact, this is probably the fourth take, and I'm going to need to make this concise. Uh, the, the, the good fortune is overwhelming, and we're enormously grateful. Uh, over the course of the summer, a lot of good work uh, went into preparing for the upcoming year and also to, uh, to continue to make some really nice improvements to campus. In fact, we're sitting uh, right in front of Hayward, which got a full renovation and opened this year uh, to just great reviews. Uh, the boys and, the, and our faculty members, our colleagues who are living there are just uh, thrilled with, with uh, the renovation work to Hayward, so we're deeply grateful for that. Uh, we've made some nice uh, additional improvements uh, with some new classrooms. We upgraded and relocated our maintenance facility, and so lots of good work continues uh, at Cardigan. Uh, next up for us, and this is an amazing piece of good news, uh, is a full renovation of Clark Morgan Hall, which is our oldest and most historic building on campus. And um, thanks need to go once again to members of the Johnson family, and in this case to Craig and Kathy Johnson, uh, for a recent commitment that they made of $3 million, which will ensure that we do the renovation, complete these renovations by, by next summer. Uh, so we're deeply grateful for uh, not only the Johnson family support, which has been amazing, but for the hundreds of people who are supporting um, our school in all kinds of ways. Uh, deeply, deeply grateful, and I want you to know that the good work that continues on campus with these boys uh, will uh, we'll continue to improve and will continue to uh, support these young guys. I'm going to ask my free safety to comment on the start to the school year. Steph, what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Um, amid all of this good fortune in terms of capital improvements and, and all of that, we, we are also fortunate to have great new faculty joining us this year. They bring a lot of experience and oodles of enthusiasm. Um, and our student culture right now is never better. Um, we, we're off to a terrific start. Um, I'm just excited about everything that's going on and grateful to be a part of this team. Yeah, yeah our, we've got 214 boys enrolled this year from, what is it, uh, 13 different countries, 20 different states, and um, these are terrific young guys who are having a really nice experience. Looking ahead, we've got some, uh, some, some nice traditions and some big weekends to, uh, to look forward to. Today is actually Mountain Day for the boys. Uh, we're looking ahead to Founders Day, which we celebrate by going to Sandwich Fair. Our uh, Eagle Brook Day will happen on um, October 4th down at Eagle Brook. Please join us if you have some time. And then October 17th and 18th, we have our Parents Weekend, our Homecoming Weekend, and uh, the meeting of our Fall Board of Trustees. And so a lot of good work. and. A lot of good cheer, uh, certainly on campus for that weekend. We hope you can join us. Uh, please visit us anytime. And uh, most importantly, thanks to everyone for all of your support. Thanks a lot.